Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. As we left off, we were poking around the refugee areas of, uh, or one of the holding docks, anyway. And, uh, it does not look good for a lot of people. In fact, it looks really bad. It looks, uh, pretty scary, actually. A lot of dead and wounded. Occasional Batarian. My brothers and sisters, we have faced adversity and overcome. This is but a test. Remember the pillars of strength that hold our people high. Hmm. Show the galaxy our resolve. I know that your faith is. I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in Bay D24. Thank you. Oh. Right now, my people. Well, oh, Batarian State Arms. Really? The Batarians are going to continu continue to actually sell stuff to us? State arms. Um. Please observe all cast restrictions when making a purchase. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really have much of an interest in what they've got there. Uh, you know, I'm not going to bug you guys over here. I'm probably not in great standing with the Batarians right now. Yeah, so... This place is probably not even going to stay this good as the war continues. So, anyway... Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Someplace else that opened up? The Pur- well... Yeah, the Purgatory Bar. Let's One go there next. Three. left to start with. Lost their homes, their loved ones, and some con artist swindles them out of what little they have left. Can't believe they won't let us stop them. Uh. We still ought to do something about it. You heard the commander. No proof, no arrest. They filed a harassment complaint last time, remember? Gotta watch our backs. Not much we can do with this new detail anyway. What are we, a couple of mall cops? Could've just shot the bastard when we had the chance. Excuse me. You have not walked through me. Like, twice. I know people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, hmm. the new regs apply to the whole Citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Get me a better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. Hmm. So yeah, little missions like that will actually, uh, pop up. Just by listening to these conversations. No, no, no. I'm telling you, I saw the look in his eye before we started off across that street. It was like, come and get me, death. You piece of shit. But you're not getting anyone else. Exactly. You're not getting anyone else. Hmm. Really? I was gonna say, she reminds me a lot of someone. Hmm. Heh. Alright. So what's over here? Oh! Hey, James! Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. Of course. You think I don't like getting dirty? <clears throat> oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? 
None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably? <laughs> you fill out a uniform like nobody's business. Excuse say, me? But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them. Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human inspector. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Is Listen, that so? You want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. You know what? Good idea. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On her. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. <laughs> it's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Lola. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> Thanks for the drink. <laughs> Is that all just a ploy to get a fucking drink out of your commander? When we get back to Earth, I'll buy it. Sure. You sure you don't want to buy me a drink? No, I already bought your friends a drink. I'm just gonna hang here for a while. Did I help your reputation? Salute! Okay. Let's see. The troops need something to bring back their fighting spirit. Remember the stories of the first regiment on Castellus? Outnumbered, knowing they would die, but they fought for the Empire. That's the spirit we need if we're going to hold power. Huh. Again, little bits and uh, pieces of stories and missions here and there. But they do add up. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally. Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. <laughs> I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. <laughs> Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. <laughs> Nicely Enjoy handled. The show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. I beg your pardon? You for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. Is that so? I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. Yeah. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. 
Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Well, technically those gangs are scum. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. Uh huh. <laughs> you obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. Okay. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Well, fair enough. And that's another way to help uh, bolster the uh, numbers here. Well. Some talented dancers. All female shaped. Oh. Um. I realize you're having fun there, hun, but uh, these people seem to be waiting for some kind of drink. Oh well. Fuck it. Look at Shepard suck at dancing. She dances better than I do, but... Huh. So, she can cut loose a little. That's good. Alright, so... Arya has... Obviously, some resources for us. Uncharacteristically helpful of her. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. Well. One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Yes. I know your stock of modified metagel is low, but... No, you, you don't understand. This isn't for... Listen, I am a surgeon at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. We have several alien patients here at this time, and we need... No, regular metagel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption rates. Don't you dare hang up on me. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait forever on this. Hmm. I found this metagel formula. Figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. So remember that uh, Hanar metagel thing that we found in the Cerberus Laboratory that they found no use for, but uh, we kind of picked up? Yeah, so not only did that help the Hanars, but since we helped the Hanars, we helped their wards, the Drell, as well. Speaking of Drell... Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane. Good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic in intensive care. I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. He seems an honorable sort. Your enemies may try to finish him off here. I will look out for him. Thane. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. Keppel Syndrome. It sounds like it's advanced quite a bit. 
Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. Really? After you heard all that? I would not be that. as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You can still help by being there. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. Thane. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. His son visits him. Coming by again, Shepard? I'm flattered. All right, we already asked these questions. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Perhaps we will keep up the... We already had that conversation. I don't mean to just simply cut him off. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name... Oh boy, that's one of those nice little random questions. Uh... Is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. What's going on here? Ma'am, I'll cut you a deal. You buy us 90 million credits worth of life-saving equipment, and you can name the hospital whatever you want. Now the truth comes out. My job here is done. Yeah, that's probably exactly why it was named the Huerta Memorial. Welcome to Serta. Okay, we don't Thank need to buy anything talking. here. Hello again, Commander. Here to see our patient? How is Caden doing? Stable. There's no evidence of cognitive impairment from the concussion, but multiple shoulder fractures are still on the mend. Bed rest under observation is all that's needed now. I'm sure a visit would be welcomed. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about- okay. We've posted guards on our reserves. War Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. So, I got out of that farm and into the hills. I pulled the farm girl after me. All I wanted to do was live through the night. Nobody else could have done more. Mm. But morning came and no shuttle. Afternoon and then night and I'm hiding from husks and those Turian things. The file says the evacuation team thought your position was overrun. So after two days, I still don't have a gun, because those Turian things I can't use theirs. I realize that shuttle isn't coming, not unless I get back to the farm and my radio. And the farm girl? She was with me. Even killed a few husks. With a stick. <laughs> hmm. Don't get stuck on random things, Shepard, although I know you have a long history of doing so under my guidance. 
Grissom Academy. They have biotic amp interfaces. I may be able to adapt for Asari use. No, it won't connect. It says the station's communication system is offline. Of course. If these interfaces make our commandos better on the field, I'll hold for as long as you need. Okay. So let's see, no conversations in here? Okay. So, there's someone that we've come to see. But we'll have to see him on the next installment of Let's Play Mass Effect 3. Hope to see you then.